will tell you about the legal, about sovereignty. The experts from Rwanda, Kenya and Uganda met in Kampala to draft a framework of a constitution for the East African Federation. Uganda's team had the former Chief Justice Benjamin Odoki as a consultant in the process. This is a very difficult exercise. Uh, bring sovereign countries together. <clears throat> One of the issues in the world today which causes a lot of conflict is the principle of sovereignty. The chairman of the committee charged with fast-tracking the political federation, General Aronda Nyakairima, says the constitution will help in streamlining the functions of each country. In order to deepen and widen integration, now we need a federation. And to have a federation, we need a constitution. To clear a state, how that it will come about, what will be the functions of, the, of the, that constitution in terms of the federal state and the constituent states. The meeting follows a summit held in Kenya's coastal city of Mombasa in August this year by President Uhuru Kenyatta, Rwanda's Paul Kagame and Uganda's Yoweri Museveni in which the leaders resolve to move on with integration without Tanzania and Burundi who are alleged to have expressed reservations about the regional bloc. The East African Charter allows the three states to move on with the integration as the other states weigh their options. The fast tracking process is on and that fast tracking did not close the door. Tanzania as and when they decide they will rejoin this fast tracking said. The draft constitution process comes after Tanzania's President Jakaya Kikwete and Rwanda's Paul Kagame had a row over the conflict in DRC after Kikwete reportedly asked his Rwandan counterpart to consider talks with the Rwandan rebel movement Democratic Forces for the Liberation of Rwanda. Chris Ochamringa, NTV.